Yesterday marked the first day that Entergy Nuclear's Vernon-based Vermont Yankee power plant began operations past its original 40-year license and on into its 20-year extension, something more than a thousand protesters from across the area showed up in full force to protest. One, two, three. At Vermont Yankee's headquarters off Putney Road, Brattleboro Police joined forces with the Wyndham County Sheriff's Department to facilitate the arrest of 130 individuals from over a dozen affinity groups who lined up group by group to duck under the tape and onto private property to be systematically processed for charges of unlawful trespass. The day of arrests went off without a hitch, in large part due to diligent pre-planning, with protest organizers arranging the details with law enforcement earlier in the week. The groups have been willing to talk to us. You know, they understand that our job is public safety, that we're not going to pick sides. At this point, press needs to remain on this side of the road. With Vermont Yankee employees receiving the day off, the affable atmosphere between officers and demonstrators remained throughout the day, with Brattleboro Police Chief Gene Wren receiving a wholehearted ovation from protesters after an impromptu press conference held late yesterday afternoon. Thanks, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Governor Peter Shumlin lent his support as well with a Facebook post yesterday that read, I am very supportive of the peaceful protesters gathered today to express their and my frustration. Despite its 20-year extension, the fate of Vermont Yankee is still up in the air as Entergy awaits a decision from Vermont's Public Service Board over the issuance of a Certificate of Public Good, a requisite for continued operation upheld late Monday by Federal Judge J. Garvin Murtha, despite his earlier verdict which overruled state legislation that would have closed the plant. Today, Vermont Yankee remains open, but even with the reactor's water still boiling, those involved in yesterday's protests say they've sent a message no one can ignore. For BCTV and 545 Live, I'm Roland Boyden. For Vermont and its energy future are, as we speak, marching from the Brattleboro Common all the way up here. Well, well uh... Are, yeah. As this protest uh, unravels. Uh,